Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another One Piece of the Card Game unboxing. This is for starter deck number 8, uh, based around Monkey D. Luffy. Uh, so this is a slight difference than how they had been doing the decks up to this point, where they've been basing it on pirate groups or groups of characters, such as like the Warlords um, or the New Generation. Um, so this is based around Luffy, is a black deck, which is one of the new colors that were introduced after the first series. Um, which had traditionally been, so far been like navy colors, um, or government. So this is kind of interesting, they're kind of going that. It's, uh, gonna be based around, um, you know, Luffy and kind of like his goals, not direct, his, his interactions with people and not specifically just him as a straw hat pirate captain. Um, so it's kind of a little bit different way to go about this. Uh, but it does help link into different decks and stuff like that. So, uh, they did change one thing with these decks is they only have a deck list on there. But, um, in each deck, we will have 50 cards, um, which will have 15 different types, 12 commons, um, two super rares and one leader. Although there's multiple copies of each common and super rare as well. So it's not, that's just the different types you'll get. Um, he'll get 15 different cards total with duplicates. Uh, you also get your Don deck and a play sheet, which just has the rules and a play Mac. Uh, so if you have any other starter deck, that'll be the same thing. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and hop into this. So we'll set up our stand. So right off the bat, we'll have our 10 Don cards. We'll just kind of toss those up here for the moment while I adjust my camera. Uh, those are gonna be the same as any of the Don cards you would have had. Um, in any of the other starter decks, uh, you probably get in booster packs, stuff like that. Um, nothing extra special about them. Uh, they have the green compass on the back. Um, as opposed to the red one for the leader. And the blue ones for the main deck. Uh, just to kind of help show off which cards which you don't get them all mixed up. Alright, then let's go ahead and hop into these cards. So we have card number one. So down here we'll have set number zero eight, number one, L for leader, of course. Um, and we are going to get a Monkey D. Luffy card. Um, in black, which is always nice if you didn't have, because currently unless you're buying booster packs and you got lucky enough to get a black leader card, this should be the, it's this or the Navy deck. Um, so this gives you a little bit other options to play as the black color if you would like. Um, he has 5 life, 5,000 attack, and he's a striker. Um, of course, because he's a leader card, he is foiled. Um, he's part of the Straw Hat crew, and he has the ability, your turn. When a character is KO'd, uh, give up to one rested Don card to this leader. So basically, someone gets hurt, he gets to power up, which is a very Luffy thing to do, right? Um, his, his team gets hurt, he gets more powerful. All right, then we are going to have two copies of Uta, who's from the film. Um, I'm not going to reread through all the other stuff on there. I'm just going to basically read the ability. But she's also considered a super rare. Um, and you might ask, why do they bother to have rarities in here? This is so if they reprint them, any future set um, or anything like that, they have, okay, this card's already at this level. Um, or it kind of also helps represent maybe what strength they are. Um, yes, you can see in the back there, uh, there's Shanks hanging out in the back. Um, this character cannot be tailed in battle by leaders. Active main, you may cast, you may rest this character, give up one of your opponent's characters minus two costs during this turn. Um, this is a black thing. They like to subtract people's costs because they can. Uh, play abilities that affect their cost. That's neat. She can't be tailed by leaders. Make her pretty powerful. Um, so except for a couple other cards, there's always going to be four of each each main card, each common. So I'm not going to put all four of them up each time, just because it fills up my uh, little easel too fast. Um, but the ones that have less than four, I will make sure I mention. Uh, up next, we have Gaimon from the East Blue. One of the first people up each. Luffy runs in when he leaves the island. Um, Wisdom. You know, just very, very basic character, but you always need those in the deck. Up next, we have Kobe, who is part of the Navy. 
well, four copies of him as well. There's Garp, Garp in the back. Um, yeah, this is kind of fun. So we've had four characters. They've all had different um, types down there. Uh, this is kind of neat. So they can work in different decks, but they all kind of work together in this one. Active main. You may rest to this character. Okay, up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less. So this works really good with, like, Uta. She can reduce the cost, and now Kobe can come in and take out a guy that maybe was four. So that's how they work together. We only have two copies of Shanks, because he's the other super rare. Uh, so it's one leader, one copy of the leader, because you only need one in your deck. Two copies of each of the super rares, and then four copies of all the rest of the cards, except for one other one. Um... So that's a shank your regular pirates. On play, may trash one card from your hand. Kill all characters at the cost of one or less. So that's, yeah, works with that theming. Reduce cards, KO stuff. We have four copies here of Shirahoshi, who's a merfolk, um, who has zero power up here. Blocker, and on play, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus four cost during this turn. So it's kind of neat. She can block. She doesn't have really power to block, but she can kind of work with Loopy to sacrifice herself to power of Loopy as well. Uh, here we got four copies of uh, Nefitari Vivi. Nefitari? From the Alabasta. Um, who has blocker as well. And just trigger to play this card. Um, all right, let's keep moving along here. We got four copies of Higamu from the Mountain Bandits. This is the guys that attack um, Luffy's hometown uh, when Shanks is there. And this, that's the shark that, I believe that's the shark or sea monster that bites Shanks' arm off. Um, although there it looks like he's either going to get eaten by it or he's uh, controlling it. Uh, on play, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus two cost during this turn. It's like an intimidation effect. Um, alright, we have Maninko from Windmill Village, which is where Luffy grew up. Uh, kind of helped raise him a bit. On play, if there's a character with a cost of zero, draw one card. So this is kind of a neat one, because we had Shanks that, like, eliminated characters, um, that had a low cost. And, like, all low cost, and, uh, Kobe can reduce some. She actually has to draw a card if you can get some, so that kind of works neat as well. Um... All right, up next we have Monkey D. Garp. So this is the only, the first character we've had that had the same type. Is we have Garp, He's also part of the Navy. Just a big, powerful card. Um, no extra special abilities. We get a Monkey D. Luffy in here. This is always fun that we get an extra version of the character in there. This is also a uh, pre-time skip, very early when he's on the Going Merry. Um... Versus the main one where he's, after he's got his, uh, cross on his chest and everything. Um, so that's definitely fun that we got the other version of him. Uh, but again, this kind of works as a basic character. You kind of even said you can compare him to Garp. Three and, three and five versus five and seven. Um, it's just kind of interesting. And then we have the one that's right in the middle is we have Laboon, who's four and six. Um. Uh, it's kind of interesting to include him, because, yeah, he got the straw hat symbol on his face. But, yeah, kind of like Gaimon. Big character he ran into that wasn't, like, directly connected to any of the straw hats or one of their characters. So, it's kind of neat. Um, and then the last character we have that we have four copies of is Mr. Ku Bong Curry Bethlehem uh, from the former Baroque's work. Uh, so Bon Clay, I believe this is your for you in English. At the end of your, at the, Don one, at the end of the battle in which this character battles your opponent, your character battles your, your, uh, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the battle in which this character battles your opponent's character, you may KO the opponent's character you battle with, if you do KO this character. So basically use him as a sacrifice effect. Um, that's definitely not a bad thing to have either. All right, and then we have four copies of our first event, which is the Gum Gum Bell, which is showing him taking out Captain Kuro there. Um, so, main, you may add one card from the top of your life cards to your hand. 
Give up calling your opponent's characters minus seven costs during this turn. So that's definitely crazy because that could work well with um, any of the characters that have effects that lower it. Because like um, Shanks, you need a character at one. Colby needed at two. Um, uh, um, Maniko needed him at zero. Now, so when you're mining some cards to seven, you can take a lot higher level cards. Um, so I think even the highest car cost card we have in here was Garp at six. Or five. Yeah, Garp might have been the highest. We have Shanks at nine. So I guess, yeah, other than that, it's like fives and sixes. So pretty much this is playing against the same deck. You could take out anyone but Shanks. Um, which is pretty fun. Trigger app to one black character card with a cost of two or less from your trash to your hand. And then you get to reuse some of these. Um, although it is two or less, we can't unfortunately bring back Bon, uh, bon Curry because he's out uh, five cost. Um, but it can help you get back some of the other characters that you may be played. Um, cool. And our last card is we only have two copies of it, but it's the Gum Gum Pistol. Uh, Luffy attacking a sea monster when he first sets out. Uh, main, K up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of two or less. So that works very well too. Trigger, draw one card. So that is definitely a fun deck. Um, oh, it's kind of interesting. You have a couple of cards that work on that reducing cost. Um, to gain various effects. And they, or cards that work with that. But Luffy doesn't do that. But it says, character is KO'd. Give up the one rested card to this Don here. So, oh, it's even one A character. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be your character. That's even cooler. So he takes out someone or he gets a victory or his friends are hurt. He gets more powerful. Very interesting. So that actually does kind of work with that then. Because if you KO a guy, um, so <laughs> when your character is KO'd, give up the one rested card. They're done with his leaders. And then it says, you may trash one card from your hand to tail all characters at the cost of one or less. Yeah, so Shanks came out, tailed a bunch of people. Um, I think it's only going to trigger once per that effect. But like him or even Kobe, be able to tail up to one of your opponent's characters. You can use these guys to knock out guys quicker. Um, so that way you can utilize uh, even Bond does that too. You can KO one of your opponents. You can use those guys to bot do that and then give Luffy an extra bonus for the turn. So that's pretty fun there. Um yeah, so this is a very solid deck. Like I said, um the first set didn't have any black cards. I believe the second uh booster packs did. Um but it added navy cards and then the deck was navy so it's mostly navy stuff. Um and I think the third one the third set, which is um, Pillars of Judgment. Second one is Romance and Dawn. Uh, no, Paramount Wars. Romance and Dawn had no black cards. Paramount Wars added black cards. And then the third booster pack that came out right about the same time as this was Pillars of Judgment, which added more black cards. That was like CP9. So it's kind of neat because it's some kind of coming. He'll have to work with the government characters to get it to work. But it does start adding... More of that variety of black other characters in the black color. You can kind of see how some of them can work in that theming. So that is really neat. Um, Alright, that's what we got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out the other One Piece videos. See you guys later. Bye.